I'm dumb. Anyway, the, Ze the Zelda poster stays out during the stream. Them's the rules. I fucking make them. But yeah. Doing a little little citizen sleeper. Doing a little, doing a little fun RPG game. RNG RPG. Very fun mix. But yeah. Uh yeah, that's that's about it. I'm just gonna I'm gonna hop right into it. Again, yeah, welcome to Citizen Sleeper. It's an RPG RNG game where uh, every day you're assigned uh, dice numbers and you get through a sci-fi world where at some point you sold essentially mind, body, and soul to a corporation which shelled out and gave you nothing. Very, uh, very dark undertones, but like... Yeah, yeah, I, I fucked up a little bit. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm going to try and have streams be earlier, but uh, that's hard. It's very difficult. Uh, tomorrow, Titanfall 2, though. Tomorrow, Titanfall 2. I'll get that out as early as possible. But yeah, what's up, Neon? <laughs> but yeah, this is this is like a game. Like you, can, you can get in bed and get, get Twitch on your phone. Like This is a much more low-key thing. Yeah, no, we will be back to Titanfall. Might even play some multiplayer. But nah, this is a very, very low key. It's almost it's it's a lot of story, but it's very sci-fi. Welcome. To the eye. Oh shit! Well, uh, 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 I guess I'll be seeing you late tomorrow then. <laughs> but yeah, welcome to the eye. It is a relatively free uh, space station in the middle of free space. Essentially, cyberpunk-style corporations have taken over the known universe. <laughs> I'm surprised you're awake. But yeah, cyber cyberpunk stuff has taken over. Um, but this is one of the last free kind of areas, and I am what's called a sleeper, which is essentially a rope, uh, 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 an engram formed from a human mind that is pushed into a robotic body so that it can better, you know, serve as a slave for corporate labor. So, you know, if, uh, if you've ever seen like, like photos of America, it's kind of like that. But yeah, uh, you get these kinds of dice every day, and you essentially, you can put them in stuff like this, and these are twos, and twos are pretty bad, like 25% chance of a positive outcome, 50% chance of a neutral outcome, 25% chance of a negative outcome. Very interesting. More like Korea, but yeah. I mean, they don't, they don't augment their people to do a job. They just kind of run them into the ground. Yeah, the, the 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 first episode is on a VOD up on the VOD channel, but I did that for quite a while. But yeah, we've got a bunch of stuff to do. Uh, one of the first things I want to do is go and watch um, uh, Mina. So, essentially, Lem is this guy who's trying to leave to a free world. wench over them 100% of the time openly? Wench. Watch? Watch over them 100% of the time? Oh, yeah. Oh, watch over them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Surveillance state. Nah, you're all good. I am stupid. Is That is the problem. Oh, yeah. This is a bounty hunter who's trying to hunt us down and bring us back to the corpo. But as long as we pay him off every four days, he, he leaves us alone. Yeah, it's actually a very lovely game. I very much suggest playing it yourself. It's very, it's very good for unwinding. But yeah, this empty container. This is where we live. Oh wait, I can show you. Where is it? Uh, no, that's not it. 
to leave. I have to go. Yes, this is what we look like. The art is so good. Look at that. These are also our artist skills. But they're cool, but like not as cool as the art. Look at the art. It's so cool. But yeah. It's so pretty. Love it. I, uh, I wonder if I can pull up. I wonder if I can. We'll go see. We'll see. We'll see Solace. We have to see Solace anyway. Bam. Oh, it's not showing his art. Anyway, a lot of the characters you interact with have art as well. And that, that, that pops up every once in a while. Oh, yeah, they are making a sequel. I am excited for the sequel. Oh, excuse me. But yeah, I'm gonna... Oh, you can also, you can also, I can see, I can see through, I can see uh, dead systems, not people. I, I had a plan for what I wanted to do last time. Is Hunter down? I hope Hunter's down. Actually, what else do we have to do today? Oh, wait, can I just... Oh, yeah, got a reroll. Nice. Oh, but that's still... Okay, I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting on that. Oh shoot! I need the. I need his. I need that man's credits. Oh. I need this to repair myself. Uh. Sorry, you're very behind in this game. You're very much kind of like fucked over. Wait, this is a bad cycle. What the, what happened to Fang? Yo! I fucking 100% Titanfall 2. Damn! Hell yeah, you fixed that mouse. Uh, you're gonna see me, uh, well, probably not 100%, but you're gonna see me finish Titanfall very soon. I'm gonna... I might lower the difficulty a little bit so that I die a lot less, and then I'm just gonna I'm gonna fucking blaze through the game. You'll see. Okay, I'm gonna go do I'm gonna go do menial labor. Oh wait, why is why is bar ah oh, bar shifts are risky now? I mean yeah. Capybara, what about it? What about the flying cunt? <laughs> oh, Viper, that's Viper, yeah. What about what? I, I, I didn't see your previous thing, and you I thought you just said flying cunt in chat. Okay. Okay, I'll, I'll probably keep the difficulty where it's at then. Let's see what we can get here. Risk it for the biscuit. Shit. Risk it. Okay, that's gotten me feeling a little better. Alright. Time to... Go to the next day. And cycle. Oh yeah, Capybara, welcome to Citizen Sleeper. It's a RPG RNG type game where at the beginning of every day we get dice assigned of a value six through one, and essentially six is the best. It lets you do stuff pretty much uh, the best as possible, and the one is uh, the worst possible unless you're doing specific tasks. But essentially, it's a lot of uh, RPG and resource allocations. It's very, very interesting. 
I was using Ronin's loadout because I figured out both well, shotgun small range go burr, but every time I use the sword core, the motherfucker would just go flying. Oh, dude, it's so cool. It's so cool. If you like RPG type games, I 100% recommend this. It's, it's like just enough like game engagement where you can really enjoy the story. It's a game where the story really shines and you know that there are thousands of different ways that the story can go. So like right here, uh, this guy Lem and his daughter are trying to escape this station, which is called the Eye. Darkest Dungeon, Mwah. so good. This is more blatant story than Darkest Dungeon though. Uh, but essentially this guy Lem can't work unless his daughter is babysat. Uh, even though they, 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 someone, he wants someone to watch his kid while, uh, so he can pick up extra shifts so that he can uh, get a chance at leaving the station, which is kind of a hellscape. Um, also, we're kind of a cyborg thing that's slowly decaying. Um, but yeah, look at this. Look at the art. Look at the art. The art is so good. <laughs> it's so good. And all the, all the fun characters get art like this. Hopefully, I'll be able to show you some before... For you, yeah, 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 yeah. But dude, I'm just—I love this game so much. It's so cool. Yeah, you can also pick up uh, the the other thing next to the character art are skills, and you can pick up cool skills. Like I can re-roll my dice once per day, or I guess they're I, they're cycles because we're on a space station. But yeah, uh, I'm I'm gonna stop talking. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do things. Ooh. Yeah, there's also there's so much sci-fi. There's so much dystopian. It's so good. But yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I'll tell you more. I'll tell you more as we go. This, this is essentially this is our best man. This is Emphis. Emphis sells fungus, grill like grilled fungus, and he's also the coolest lad. We give him money, and he gives us uh, energy. Because even though we're a synthetic life form, we still have to eat. Because corporations are assholes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So our, our character sold their uh, their mind and body to a corporation, which put essentially an engram of their being into a robot shell. And that robot shell slowly decays without proper maintenance. And that's, what, that's this thing up here. And the more we decay, the less dice we have. Yeah, test the mouse. For some reason, I was going to say test the mouse on Beat Saber, but you got that right. They, these shrooms, delicious. It's spicy. But yeah. Uh, we, we have to retrieve fungus for him so he can make us fresh fungus. And then he'll tell us stories. He's so cool. But yes. Uh, I think it's just, I think we're going to go, we're going to go watch Lem. What? Why is that a minus two? Oh wait, that's only a five. Shit. I'll risk it. Come on, positive. Come on, positive. Oh, only one ticket of out. God damn. Yes. Okay, we also got energy from that. That's cool. That's good to know that that gives energy. Quake or Titanfall? Quake! If you're testing a mouse, you're gonna want to do Quake. Let's be real. We all know what you're gonna choose to test the mouse. It's Quake. You know it's gonna be Quake. I know it's gonna be Quake. So just play Quake. Scourge Prime and one art pack, but I don't know which one to buy. Ooh. Quake is pure chaos, yeah. Yeah, you, the, you're you're catching some of the less interesting gameplay where we're just like grinding for cryo and stuff. Ooh, also, bam! Since we're a robot, we can see all of the robot like interactions on the station. Like, look at this. It's a keynote. Bam! Bypassing, extracting data. Now we have keys. Oh, but if we do too much in there, we get hunted down by an evil cyber entity thing. It's kind of creepy. 
Oh, right, I was supposed to climb the spoke. Forgot about that. Oh, yeah. This is a guy who uh, the corporation sent him after us. He's kind of a dick. And we're also kind of working on a way for him to not track us so we can escape. Oh, and this is Fang. Fang's cool, but he, uh, he might, we, he might have been assassinated. It's, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Shipping container, and the cycle. Ooh, look at them rolls. I, it's gonna have to be another boring day. I am sorry, but it's gonna have to be another boring day. Actually, if we just dump everything in here, it's not even, it's not gonna be a boring day. Damn. Uh, wait, we have to check up on Oh shit, we should also get money. Right. What happened to Fang? It's been more than a few cycles since Fang confronted Harden. Harden's a D-bag corporate shill. Uh, and we kind of called him out. And he kind of didn't like that. So he kind of framed us a little bit. Kind of. Yeah, us being a corporate built robot human thing is not helpful in saying, hey, you're a corporate tool, bro. And he's like, yeah, but you're a tool built by the corporation, bro. Fuck you. That kind of that kind of trumps whatever we had, even though we had actual evidence. Uh, haven't exactly found him to be reliable, but you did expect to hear the end of whatever plan might be put into action. But if he won't come to you, you think as you approach the Harbinger building, it's time for you to come to him. After all, he did promise to fix your tracker and you're getting nervous. Oh yeah, we have a tracker that the corporation implanted in us and we're trying to uh, trying to uh, get that removed so uh, we can uh, stop paying the bounty hunter to not throw us in jail. Stacks of servers and terminals sit in the bay door, suddenly robbed of their mystery by bright fun lamps. A figure in heavy in security fatigue steps out of the bay as you get closer, carrying a stack of hardware. I approach. Oh, shit. This is Harden, by the way. See how much of a soulless monster he is? Look at him. He's a dick. Fuck you. I don't know if you can see. I was flipping him off. Anyway, you again. Harden is there, leaning beside the bay entrance so calmly you barely notice him. He has a slate in his hand. An inventory of seizures scrawled across it. Predictable. Further evidence of Fang's collusions. You see another security officer come out of the bay take notice of you. Harden. Harden pushes away from the wall and comes closer. Don't worry, sleeper. We have all the evidence we need. A confession won't be necessary. He gestures around the stacks of hardware, spying on fellow Havenage members, hoarding sovereign uh, Solheim soul materials, and obsession with corporate data. It speaks for itself, doesn't it? It was his job. What do you know about jobs, sleeper? We are the ones that provide the oxygen you are breathing, the light you are seeing, the systems you use every day to live out your cycles. This place was hard fought for, sleeper. It took work, diplomacy, and strength to stop the eye descending into chaos after Solheim collapsed. Not blind conviction or self-interest. You're the self-interested one. What have you achieved, sleeper? Your entire existence is proof of your self-interest. Signing yourself over to the emulated rather than work yourself. Whether you remember it or not, you suffer from the same short-sighted perspective as the person you were copied from. You see, Sleeper, we are profound. We are proud of our history here. Adriel Erlin and the First Union founded this place, and Havenage has willed have wielded his values into the station's very... Well, it was welded. Has welded the uh, values into the station's very walls. We will never turn away from the hardworking, the just, the true citizens of the eye. 
Avenage aren't a gang, like Yataka. We aren't pirates like the half the spacers you'll meet in the hub, or esoterics like those hyphen rascals in the Greenway. We are the backbone of this place, proud and true. We named Erlen's Eye Sleeper. This is our station. So please, take your false accusations elsewhere before I decide I need the, that confession after all. History will catch up with you. I'm not afraid of history, Sleeper. We are making it here, cycle by cycle. If you have any pride, you'll give up Fang the moment he contacts you. You know where to find me. With that, Harden turns his back and walks back towards the security officers, ordering them to continue the clear out. <laughs> well, fuck him! A crumpled, hand printed box of synthetic chewing gum, a penguin character grinning from the brightly colored card. Scrawled onto it a speech bubble reading Take me to Tambor. Carefully pocket the box, making sure no one is watching. You turn away, just as another sack of servers is wielded out of the bay. Is wheeled out of the bay. What have you done, Fang? And where the hell is Tambor? Yeah. Uh fuck. Yeah, post the results. I wanna see that. Sounds cool. Yeah, this is a long-term goal right here. Oh, I got I get random scrap items from this? Yes! Dude, this thing's awesome. Not currently accepting other people mice for murdering. Meh. People can cut up their own mice. Let me know when you post, when and where you posted it. I'm I am interested. All oh, right, I'm out of dice. Time to hope that that's enough cash to keep the bounty hunter off my ass, cause my damn techie got himself arrested. <sighs> Shit. Not the best thing to do. General and 45 seconds. 45 seconds to go or 45 seconds from now. Oh, shit, my condition is bad. I... Uh, I have to take... Mm, drugs. Condition stabilized, body repaired. Look at that. Look at how good we're feeling. From now-ish. Uh, okay. Ooh! Oh, I thought that was something cool. But no, it's Ethan, the dickhead. The compressor is quiet today. The usual crowds are elsewhere. The music washes over you and a handful of spacers. Ethan is still at the same stool, the same pool of light. This dude has literally been drinking for two weeks, and I keep paying his tab. Also, this is Ethan, another dickbag. I'm sorry I'm only introducing you guys to the bad characters. Or reintroducing you. Uh, depending on who's who's hiding in chat. But yeah, head is low, close to the bar. The bartender's ignoring, ignoring him. As you get closer, he lifts his heads and turns. Sleeper! Time to pay up again, is it? He gestures to the bartender. Come here, say your chits. Stay silent. The bartender ignore Ethan. It seems they cut him off. Hey! Come take the shits! The bartender ignores him. Ethan lets out a huge sigh, rubbing his eyes with his palms. He reaches towards his holster. His elbow slips and the gun tumbles out. It clatters on the bar and falls to the floor, bouncing onto the ground between you. Both you and the bartender look at the gun, stare at it. Butterfinger, 
says Ethan, and he puts out a hand, beckoning for you to give him the gun back. If you would. Can I kill him? Can I just kill him? <laughs> okay. Okay. Done it. Saw some videos. Choose the art pack. If I find 50 buck gift cards, I can buy both packs. Yeah! Buy both packs. Nax, I don't, I don't, I don't see the thing. Up, oh, up, nope, nope, it's right there. Whew. 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 Good shit. My, my, uh, my, go fast. I still have the same mouse. Uh, Everything else I have either replaced or redone since I've started doing, like, PC work. But I've had the same mouse for, I think, like, four years. And I, I, I got it for free. I appropriated it from work. I, 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 I. So this guy has already kicked my ass multiple times. Do I threaten him or give him the gun? Also, why was he going for the gun? I, is, I, oh. Can I point the guy? I, I, he's cynical. I, I, I'm just gonna hand him the gun. Ah, shit. No. Bounty pays half, but up to you. Did he shoot me? Did that motherfucker? Oh wait, the gun clicks, but now all the attention in the bar is on you. Ethan, who looks at his gun with a bemused expression, the bartender raises an open hand, and in it are ten shiny bullets. Ten shiny bullets he took out of Ethan's gun while he was asleep on the bar. See, I, 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 he was gonna betray me, but now I can kick the shit out of him. Oh well, he says, and hits you in the head with the butted gun. Shit. You stagger back and drop to a knee. Somewhere nearby, the gun clatters on the surface. Hits a glancing blow, but makes your vision swim. Through the blur, you see Ethan wrestle a smile, a thin slate from his belt, and hold it up. Enough of this. I'm logging the job and calling it in. No more playing. Your head aches. Ethan taps through a few screens impatiently. He swears and taps again. He starts shouting, a dull echo ringing in your ear. He starts screaming at the slate and throws it across the bar. He crouches down and grabs you by the chin, his face close, his breath heavy with drink. Essen Erp just screwed me. He grins maniacally. They canceled the contract? Yes! They canceled the contract? Bruh, I'm free! I did it! I waited and I did jack shit and they canceled the bounty. You hear a click sound, like coins being counted, like bullets being loaded into a magazine. When you shake off the last of the blur, bartender has Ethan's pistol trained on his head? Ethan stumbles back towards the middle of the room, all eyes trained upon him. I'll kill all of you! He screams. He stumbles into a wall, spinning away towards the door. I'll be back for that! He shouts at the bartender and lur lurches, lunges out of the compressor. You steady yourself on the bar and catch your breath. The rumble of conversation returns. The bartender goes to say something, but then thinks better of it and begins to clean the bar. After a while, you wander out into the light of the bright market, looking for Ethan around every corner. Well, that certainly has resolved itself. Okay, we have we have more time to uh, escape. Let's talk to Sabine. Right on time, no sign of the- Oh, Sabine is the doctor who's procuring the drugs that are the only thing keeping us from immediately shutting down. You wait a while, the dread descending as the cycle spins onwards. They should be here. I will check the terminal. Check the double terminal for the message recording. Nothing, just a pale glow in silence. Check the door. Pace back and forth in the apartment. Go to check the door. Empty corridor. Close again. You try to settle down. Sit on the bunk, stare in the tiny room. Where the hell are they? A knock at the door. Open it. That's not Sabine. A figure stands in the door and immediately you know it's not Sabine. They are taller, sharper, something in their face glints in the half light. 
A dark shape, like a stubby baton, hangs loosely from her hand. Our local sleeper, good to finally meet you. She steps into the apartment, glancing around with sharp eyes. May I, what, may I ask, are you doing here? She fixes you with a steady, unwavering stare. Nothing. No need to get jumpy. We just need to discuss our mutual friend. She walks past you into the apartment, glancing around. We set them up here, you know. This place is one of ours. People always seem to forget who put them where they are. She glances at you. And I suppose you are here to help? Mm, something like that, yeah. You're going to play the mysterious stranger for now. Good, good. She puts the glass down and turns to face you. I love to meet helpers. We need so many, but can find so few with the right skills. We have a problem, you and I. It seems our friend has disappeared, left without even saying goodbye, which means they're in a little trouble now. But it's the kind of trouble that you need help for. So I thought I'd come down here and take a look at their little hidey hole. And here you are, the help. She looks through the detritus on the side. And what help? A sleeper, no less. Which I have to admit is a little surprising. It suggests to me that a friend hasn't been very honest with you either. Ah, oh, we know they're ba they they worked at the sleeper program. That's We put that together a while back. What do you mean? I'm sorry to report that we've got them set up here. Sabine was working for your owners, as an ARP. I figured that out. Apparently my character didn't figure that out, but yeah. You blink hard at the news, unsure of how to take it. She looks away, waiting for a response. Mm, prove it. Ooh, I received a text. Excuse me. Happily, she sits at the terminal and touches her badon, bad, <laughs> badon, baton to one of the access ports. A spark and then the screen skips, encrypting folders emptying themselves before your eyes. SNR letterheads, code forms, reports laden with medical data marked with a corporate logo and the sigil of some cult. Look all you want. Some of your files may even be here. The volume of documents is overwhelming. They seem to be mostly reports on early emulation tests, surveys with sleeper candidates, reams and reams of usage data. If Sabine was SNR employee, why did they help you? She reaches over and places a vial of stabilizer on the desk, breaking your con concentration. It shimmers in the screen light, its viscous, clear liquid crystalline within the glass. We will, of course, keep up the supply. We are more than able to dispense important medicines, even without the doctor. You hold it between your fingers, and for a tiny moment, you have the urge to crush this object for the power it has over you. I'll ask Toshiro to make those a little cheaper for you. He'll be running the surgery now. Dude, imagine what, like, your doctor is just replaced with, like, a six and a half foot tall thug. Like, he's just like, yo, I'm doing the surgery now. I know I worked at the front desk for six months, but I, I do the surgery now. All me. Medical license? Pfft, never heard of it. We have to retrieve your assets, of course, but I'm sure you understand. Oh, retrieve our assets. There is no reason for us to be enemy sleeper. Come see me. I keep an office nearby. We have good work to do, you and me. Meet me there in a few cycles. She slips out silently into the corridor. You look around the apartment, you feel the fear drain out of your body to reveal the tiredness beneath it. Some motherfucker with his fingers thicker than a fucking tire performer surgery? Dude, exactly. Literally, this guy, uh, until this point, until this point, this guy has been guarding. He's He's been the mob thug doing collections on this surgery office, and now he runs the place. He's, he was literally holding a protection racket until this point. All right, we're going to babysit a little bit. Nice. Reroll these. Yeah. Let's get Luma took it out. 
Oh, come on. Please tell me. Yes, this is Lem. This is Lem. Look at this man. Look at the, the, the single dad. Absolute, absolute sweetheart. That's how mafia works. Yeah, but usually the mafia doesn't replace the people they're collecting from with their members. I'm pretty sure if you walked into like, if you walked into like a, a chiropractor office and suddenly there's just a guy there going, hey, I'm the fucking chiropractor now. I'm here to, uh, to crickle crackle your back, motherfucker. That's a dude? Yeah, that's Lem. That's a dude. I think. Yeah. 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 Why the Italian accent? Because because I live in New Jersey? The mafia around here is run by a lot of Italian folks. That's, that's, like, like, actually. <laughs> you don't live in New Jersey? Wait, do you, I, that's fair. That's fair. No, it's all good. It's just, I forget that not everyone knows the good old American organized crime history. <laughs> but yeah. You outsmarted me in your mafia knowledge? D don't worry about it. I just grew up in a place with a mob influence. <laughs> uh, ah, that makes sense. Your mafias are uh, different. My neighbor here is some part of a gang, mostly the stupid part. Because that guy's a fucking idiot. Fuck that guy. Anyway. We're ba back to this this hard-working single dad who just wants the best for his daughter. It's adorable. She's asleep, whispered Lem, creeping back out from the unit's tiny bedroom, sliding the door shut as he does. You're perched in a thin bar in the main room, the slate in front of you still glowing with Mina and your drawings from a cycle spent together. There's a ring, the only world Mina has known, with stick figures standing along its edge. The tall one is you. She drew pictures of us. The child drew pictures of us. All we know here is football, disorganized crime, and political corruption. And Samba. Look, all we have here is weird football, semi-organized crime, and political corruption. We don't even have Samba. Can, how, about, how about, how about, how about, how about, I trade you, 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 let me propose a trade. I trade you rap music you give me samba oh oh kentucky is coal fried chicken and horses we have horses here we have like i i there's this guy who'd pick up his kids on horses because he could drink asked Lem, producing a worn looking bottle of griole from under the bar its contents glowing amber in the fluorescent light yes I, I, it still hasn't been answered if I can get drunk, but yes. You don't know? Rap? I, rap? <laughs> or Samba? <laughs> can you not choose? <laughs> choose. I'm going to make you choose. Choose rap or Samba right now. I'm willing to, I'm willing to give up. I'm willing to give it up. Nah. Nah. We have gay marriage, trans rights, and awfully stupid gangs that somehow still exist. Ooh. Yeah, we, we don't have one of those around here. And believe it or not, it's not the gangs. We don't have trans rights. <laughs> That's what we don't have. I choose power metal? You know what? I'm with you there. I'll, t I'll take... I, 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 I'm more of a punk metal kind of guy, but... Yeah. Limb nods and glugs a lugs a few fingers into a couple of metal tumblers then sits down with you at the bar cheers he offers and you clink the metal containers together you know we actually have something to celebrate this time around i made the assembly team on the side reel yes he grins broadly clearly he has been desperate to tell you all cycle amazing couldn't have done it without you keeping an eye on little meanie back there Lem shifts a little on his stool he looks uncomfortable how's our girl doing sleeper I haven't seen much of her these past cycles. See, yeah, that, that is dad. He's dad. She misses her dad. Yeah, 
He says no one in particular. The sound stretches on as Lem takes another drink, his eyes fixed on the bedroom door. Are you okay? He's not okay. We know he's not okay. He's... Dude. Uh, she's great. I can't take... I can't take all the credit for Mina. She isn't actually mine. What? He gazes into the middle distance. I pulled her off a refugee shuttle out by one of Ember's moons. The colony was falling apart for decades after Solheim collapsed, surviving on next to nothing. Eventually, some of the residents tried to make for the eye on these decrepit old shuttles. He sloshed the drink around in his tumbler. They had no idea what they were doing. The one Mina was on decompressed halfway there. Everyone spaced. The only reason she made it was because someone sealed her in a weapons locker. She was ice cold when I reached her. Purple lips. Once I picked her up, I wouldn't let go. The medics treated her with me still clinging onto her. He takes a drink. Still not sure why. Such a good man! Oh, he's a fucking sweetheart. He reaches over and refills his cup. We weren't exactly anybody's heroes, you understand. We were private military hired in by Conway to protect their claims and the collapse. But once I got Mina, that was it. I quit. Got us dumped here. Shit, you're a- he was a merc? Bruh. <laughs> He's a single father. Single. We shall help him. We're a robot. I don't even know if- I- I- we're a robot person. So, like, I don't know. I don't know what you mean by help. We're definitely going to help him. But, like, I, th those are all capital letters. I don't think your help is altruistic. I think you want this man. Look at him. He's got a good soul. Anyway, human rights leaving my body as I come out. <laughs> Wait, the human rights leaving my body once I come out as trans? Is that real? Ooh, so you saw those memes. Yeah. 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 America is, uh, kind of a clusterfuck. You saved her. I'm going to sound like an idiot now, but she saved me. Aw, she's a little... <laughs> he looks around the decaying unit. Stained plastic plating and flickering lights. Me? I brought her to this. She was tiny, too small to know what she lost, but I can't stop thinking about it. He rubs his eyes, dark with tiredness. What if our number doesn't come up in the draw sleeper? What then? The side rail will sail off without a thought, leaving us here. What kind of life is that for her? You'll make it. Sorry, I know you don't have it any better. He looks at his cup and pushes it away down the bar. This is a celebration, right? Both of us on the team now. Both of us in with a chance. Exactly. Imagine all three of us riding the side reel, hor uh, the side reel horizon out of here, to a new world. He looks into his glass for a moment. I think I drank this too fast. He laughs. Lem stands and starts to clear the glasses into the auto wash. I need some sleep, friend. See you around. All right. Catch your shoulders. You turn to leave. Thank you, sleeper. I mean it. From both of us. He pats your shoulder and you slip out into the dark of the walkway with thoughts of little Mina in your mind. See the storytelling. Who wouldn't want that man? Definitely this guy. <laughs> Bro. Look, look, look. Sometimes you simp for a good father figure. <laughs> oh. I definitely have other stuff to do. Oh, they gave us a free a free hit of stabilizer. That's well, that's not good, but it's something. Ooh, that's three point. Ooh. Chance to gain cryo on interface interactions. Photosynthesize. Nah, I'd rather just pay for food, honestly. Chance to gain energy after engage action. Mm. Uh, this would be good for making money, but like I think I can, I have the reroll. I'm good. I'm gonna save up points so I can be the super engineer. I'm gonna be that guy. Oh hey, we get twenty percent off 
at the at, at the the hits of uh of uh stabilizer yo aikman dare titan welcome we're playing citizen sleeper where we are stuck on a giant ring-like space station as a robot containing the engram of a human mind and we slowly deteriorate and try and prevent our death while doing some rpg stuff you just missed a very heartwarming tale of an ex-merc and his daughter but yeah yeah you also missed uh me and uh nax and uh cappy just definitely not simping over this man don't don't roll that don't don't watch the vod that's what happened i don't know what you're talking about actually yeah i think that's that's most of what i want to do today oh yeah we also uh live in a shipping container because we're cool and broke I've, I kind of always wanted to live in a shipping container, but like I'd strap it to a truck and put solar panels on the roof and tell no one that I have it and install a shower. Showers are very important to me. Basically, I want a home, but I don't want to pay for a home because <laughs> I don't have that kind of money. All right, that's Havenge, Havenge. Another keynote. Uh, I'm just gonna access the keynote. Extracting data. Yeah, that's some good data. Mm. Just live in a truck. Why the container? Because I can't install a shower in a truck, Nax. Duh. Sorry, that was dickish. But like, I told you. I told you. Showers are important, and it won't rust if you paint it properly. You can... I, I know things. Also, FYI, you can do all those things currently. Yeah, but this isn't my home. I just live here. Sup, Titan? Yeah, say hi to Titan. Look, I just want to live in the middle of nowhere, but I don't want to pay for that kind of, like, convenience. Alright, so we have money. We didn't even have to pay the guy off. A lad in London who made a skip. Made a skip into a house? What's a skip? Is that kind of like a ship? No, makes a vehicle with those features. It's an RV, but RVs are hard to drive. I'd rather just drive a truck in a trailer. I've driven trucks. I've driven I drove I drove a dump truck today. A literal dump truck. It was awesome. Did we not? Did I could have sworn we just did it? Oh, we haven't rested. Oh. Well, that's the first thing we got to do if we want to move forward here. And cycle. How about a van? Vans are just creepy, though. If you see a guy pull up in a van, like. That's. It's just. That's some sketchy shit. Oh, uh, two sixes. Look at us. We're rolling well. Oh, uh, right. I can't. Oh, that's the only reason to get the haggle thing. Ship mine fragment discount. Shoot. That would be so cool. Buy ship mine fragment. I do really need the ship mine fragment. For the reasons. I have I have a I have some great uh, fun information for you too, uh, Aikman Dare Titan. Uh, we're also having a housing crisis. <laughs> we're 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 fixing it though. Uh, our solution is uh, build a shit ton more houses, um, but we actually have like the space to do that. I know it's harder in Europe. Pull up to what Walmart? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, ours is less a housing crisis. We had a housing... Well, uh, we had a full housing market crash in 2008 here in the States. Like, like actually. Like, people... Like, like normal, everyday people owned multiple homes all on, essentially, like, loans. And then people realized, oh, shit, no one can pay these loans uh, because we vastly overestimated the 
essentially the value of the housing market. So the market crashed, and so houses were dirt cheap for a while. Because, well, they you couldn't get a loan for a home, but if you could pick up a loan for one of the other... It, it was weird, but housing was in a weird place for us. But yeah, we don't, we don't have enough housing. Yeah. Our solution is to not build a larger than usual amount of houses. The hope is that it solves itself. I mean, if you just resort to cannibalism, a modest, just a modest proposal, cannibalism. I really hope you get that reference. Otherwise, I'm going to look horrible. Damn. Because we have laws for not buying out people. You know, that is humane as fuck. Don't worry, I'm a cannibal. Ha, <laughs> cool. But have you read A Modest Proposal? It's very funny. Horribly offensive. Very funny. Ooh, ship raider. Oh, yeah. We gonna unload all of the shipping containers after we buy a ton of scrap. What did I get? What did I get? Oh, scrap components. Also, in most of Europe, we have plenty of space. I mean, like... I... I don't... Have you, have you been to the U.S., is my question. Oh, yes, a ship mine fragment. Look at me go. Oh. Because I... Ich bin der Titan, I hate to tell you this. If you think you have space in Europe... No. Oh, yeah, you definitely have enough space for housing. You definitely have enough space. It's actually getting the houses built and put on the market for a reasonable value. That's the issue. But like space space is a factor. It is it is a non it is not a zero factor. But like the space in the US uh uh Ipender Titan, what is a continent? Continent was something made up by like Europeans 300 years ago to justify a bunch of shit they did. And we don't we don't we don't talk about those guys. Spain has too much space. F fuck the Spaniards. They're Spaniards. Netherlands, fuck no. Germany, eh, Poland, eh, France and Spain probably. France and Spain have a lot of space, but here's the problem. Do you really want to live with the French? Do you really want to live with the French? If I have any French viewers, you're probably fine. But you've met other French people, right? Sorry, I hate the French and the British. A continent is a legit thing? Mm-hmm. Sure. 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 Continents are definitely not just drawn by arbitrary lines. I, I can pull up the Neil deGrasse Titan cl Tyson clip. I'll pull it up. We'll do this. We'll do this. Oh, there's so much of him talking about the Earth's rotation. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. There are too many. I don't know which one it's from. He does too many things. But yeah, continents... I, meh. Isn't France becoming a modded Smash server? <laughs> uh, I... Yes. I need it for science. Stop devalue... <laughs> It's needed for science. Stop de devaluing it now. <laughs> no. I'm going to devalue a continent. I'm going to short the stock of continent. Also, yes. Let's let's make up uh, France a modded smash server. 
The tectonic plates. Also, no offense to the French, but French is sort of boring people. Yeah. All they do is sip wine, say ooh la la, and eat baguette. Come at me, France. <laughs> All right. We're going to have to make some money because I need ship mine fragments. I have to build a housing for my pet AI. Also, we have an AI pet. Don't ask questions. I could sell some scrap. I don't really, I don't really want to sell scrap though. I can use that to repair myself. Give me that 19 cryo. Nice. Oh wait. There we go. Yeah. I've never actually been to France. I should I should go to France before I shit on the French. What are you going to tell me next? <laughs> Islands aren't real? Islands are real. I know because I, I, I grew up on an island. <laughs> Islands are real. So we're going to Wikipedia real quick for you, Nax. Continents are generally identified by convention rather than any strict criteria. A continent could be a single landmass or a part of a very large landmass, as in the case of Asia or Europe. Due to this, the number of continents varies. Up to seven or as few as four geographic regions are commonly regarded as continents. Most English-speaking countries recognize seven regions as continents in order from largest to smallest in area. Asia, Africa, North America, South America, Antarctica, Europe, and Australia. Different variations with fewer continents merge some of these, uh, these regions. Examples of merging North America and South America into America, Asia and Europe into Eurasia. Your, your, your I can't believe I struggled to pronounce that. And Africa, Asia, and Europe into Afro-Eurasia. Then what the fuck do you... Do you think a continent is? Fuck. Am I thinking of the wrong word? I think you might be... There are seven. You can't convince me otherwise. The only other thing you can say is eight, and that's debatable. <laughs> debatable. Nax, I think you might be thinking of the of the wrong... Of, of a... Of a... Of a yeah, I think you might be thinking of something different. I mean, but here, let me let me destroy the argument for eight, though, right? So, like, these are like what the world recognizes. What, what, like, oh, that's okay. These, these are the continents, right? These are the continents. Yeah. Ooh. But like, like, there ain't no Arctica. There's an Antarctica, but there ain't no Arctica. Because that's either ice or it's part of North, or North America. There's nothing up there. There, there, there are penguins, and soon there's just going to be water. Scientists are now saying New Zealand is separate to Oceania, and that's not completely agreed. Fuck that. New Zealanders, I... Pff. Are they really going to pop off and be like, Hey, yo, Mint, bruv, we're, gonna, we're, we're, all, we're New Zealanders. We, we have our own continent. Yeah. I don't believe it. I refuse to believe it. I know I'm alienating anyone not from America that is watching any of my streams by just bashing the, the New Zealandish, the French, the Spanish. The only people I apologize to are the New Zealanders and the Spanish. Fuck the French. <laughs> Too much bad blood. <laughs> Uh, all that is making my screen angry. All right.
Sorry. We're doing a little doing a little reboot. There we go. So tis grand, tis grand. You haven't said anything bad about the Irish? Well, yeah, and because I'm one of you. Ah, uh, hate to spring this on you, but my Irish passport kinda, <laughs> kinda has a thing to argue with ya. Well, it, I don't have it yet. I'm getting it soon. I just have to remember to apply properly. But yeah, I'll, I'll have it soon. Don't you worry. I'll be marching up soon enough. Come on, money. Come on, money. Yeah. I think the German definition of continent might be different. What's the word? What's the word? Because I learned it as a major piece of mass broken off of Pangaea into different moving tectonic plates. You're thinking of tectonic regions. Which is different. So that's an actual piece of science. That makes that makes ten. Yeah, that makes it about ten. But that that also here's the thing that leaves very weird lines. Like that breaks up America into like a couple separate chunks. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna have to sell that. sell that i just i i just need a lot of money i just need these ship mine cores man oh i just need one more i just need one more all right let's go to the night night zone see if there's anything we can do i don't care about havenage i genuinely do not give a fuck about those guys Yadigan, I probably should get Yadigan data, but I... That's a lot of effort. The word is continent. I mean, the Germans are a practical people. I'm sure they would look at the fucking mess and they'd be like, why have you broken up everything this way? And people would be like, well, because it's convenient. And they would have been like, no, no, no. 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 Reroll. Fuck. Well, now I have to do something. Give me your data. Afraid of my German classes, we haven't gotten to geography yet, other than the nations in Europe, so I can't confirm or deny. Meh. I, I still need more money. That sucks. End cycle. Oh, uh, wait. Did I eat enough food? Shit, I didn't eat enough food. That sucks. Let's go. Let's go buy some mushrooms. Oh, yeah. That's the other way I can I can heal a little bit. Uh, I can I can repair myself with just scrap. I am a fungus fan. And now I have energy. Oh. I guess she wants to have that conversation. Oh, she's cool. I assume she was going to be like, I saw the robot arm and when she had like her face covered, I was like, oh, she's definitely going to be like evil robot person, but she seems chill. Don't worry, I appreciate your perspective. Like, she's, like, complimenting the people, like, her underlings and shit, too. Ooh, it's gonna be difficult. Didn't feel like an offer. You have to understand, finding you there in Sabine's unit, I wasn't sure where we stood. 
there are more than a few people in the station who would rather I was dead. I had to be sure you weren't one of them. I don't want to harm you or anyone. I just want to leave. With you saying you're Irish, I can put you in the most awkward situation possible. What's your opinion on North Ireland? <laughs> uh, my father was there during the Troubles. He didn't stay long. <laughs> Though I suppose pretty much everyone's father was probably there for the Troubles. Um, I am a big supporter of uh, not the, the Crown. So... Uh, yeah, I think, I think the biggest problem with Northern Ireland is the fact that they're associated with the British. That's the biggest problem. I've, I, I have no, like, hatred or any disdain for those in North Ireland or the North Ireland itself. Uh, there are very practical reasons to have North and South Ireland as separate or a unified state. Uh, I think the situation in, like, 2016, 2017, when I went and vid visited, uh, before Brexit happened, was pretty cool. Some people would live in Northern Ireland, enjoy the benefits of, like, certain kinds of healthcare stuff that the British had going on, uh, and they'd work in South Ireland, and there'd be some other stuff. Like, it, 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 it ran fine. It ran fine, and it was probably the most peace Ireland had been at after... The tr after the Troubles, which, I mean, debatable whether they ever ended. But, like, it's it's peaceful. Not, no one shot anyone in a while, okay? No one shot anyone in a while. <laughs> it's like, no one's, no one's been shot in a while. That might have to do with the fact that there aren't many guns anymore. But, like, still. Yeah. That's one of the few, like, hefty historical political tangles I can weigh in on. Everything else, especially here in America, if I weigh in on something like that, everyone's like, oh, you're white. You can't talk about that. You have, you suck. Fuck you. I'm like, but my family only came here like uh, 50, 60 years ago. Like, what do you want from me? What do you know about yet again? You're a gang. A gang, yes, that's what people call us. But what does this meaning hurt or to have? Reputation is one that implies threat. Is that fair to say? Parasites, criminals. The last time you saw a lawmaker lie, a policeman. Hey, Vintage. By claiming a lineage that extends back to the early union, they assume the burden of authority. But they have no authority here, out past the bright market, where few work at their shipyards and pay for their docking berths. No, that's because there, there was international pressure by countries like the U.S. in private for them to stop executing random Catholics. Yeah, didn't like that part as a, as a Catholic. Uh, yeah, that was not, yeah, didn't like that part. Also, we can also blame that on the British because one fucking mad king with syphilis decided he wanted to divorce and murder a bunch of women. So we can, we can yet again blame the British. We can blame the British yet again. I know everyone knows the troubles are the British's fault, but like it's it's so their fault that it's it's crazy how much they are at fault. That such things sometimes Americans tell me I can't talk about the history of discrimination against groups to retaliate. I am German. Yeah, how how you uh, uh, ha? I mean, uh, since when has oppressing certain people for anything gone bad? Post World War One, never. Never, the way we treated the Germans never did anything bad then. Nothing bad came out of the treatment of Germany after World War I. Nothing bad happened. What? No. But yeah. You're the first person I've heard from another country to blame the British for the trouble. Because it's their fault. It's their fault. It's their church founded by a fucking lunatic it's their bad policies it's their multiple invasions of ireland it's their fault it's the british's fault it's all their fault they suck fuck the british <laughs> oh yeah
Dude, Nax, I, the, yeah. No, here's the thing. He was crazy, but he only, he, the only reason he was able to rise to power is because he, he, it was desperation. Desperation allows fascist dictators to rise up. Well, that and complacency. But, like, uh, after a war-beaten country is put under intense censure and basically stripped of everything that it thought it, it made it valuable, uh, that's going to make a population vulnerable to fascism. Look at Italy. <laughs> yeah. Hitler was a scumbag. And the situation that the rest of the European powers put Germany in allowed him to rise to power. And then it allowed him to further rise to power after they started uh, using appeasement instead of, like, you know, saying, hey, invading Poland's a no-no. Hey, going to the Rhineland, that's a no-no. They just said, okay, and they just let him do whatever. They're like, oh, my God, you got a lot of military forces there. You're not supposed to have that. And he said, fuck you. And they're like, okay. And then he took a, a military disclusion zone that he wasn't supposed to take because it was there. Because guess what? The people Germany invaded last time felt threatened. So he did that, and everyone was like, okay. And then he invaded Poland, and everyone was like, oh, okay. And then Churchill was like, no, you're dumb. You're stupid. You're not doing the math. They keep taking shit, and we keep telling them not to do it, and they don't stop. This Hitler guy is bad news. Have you not put it together? If it weren't for Vesalius, he wouldn't have had the opportunity to come to power and definitely not do the things he did. Exactly. Being British should be a crime. Yeah. Yeah, it should. Except Churchill. Churchill Churchill was... He was he was okay. He, he was basically American. Cursed a lot. Was misogynistic. Liked military action. He was basically American. Also, I would like to state for the record, I do not endorse the IRA and I do not hate the British. I kind of do hate the British, though. <laughs> I'll remind you, up until, like, last year, the same monarch who was sat on the throne for the entirety of the Troubles was still sitting on the throne. Like, I want to be that thing. You can't have that takes it. Ooh, you can't have it, but no more, but I want that thing. Dude, I, I love Oversimplified. Trisha was an okay person. How he said once, do I do 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 I do 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 I love hearing Churchill's speeches. His speeches are really good. Fun fact: Churchill actually ordered the killing of thousands of Irish people. <sighs> now I hate Churchill. God damn it! Why did he do that? What a dick! Oh, wait, shit. Reason his beer was too watery? Fuck you. I thought he was so cool, but he did sort of order the killing of loads of us. Apparently, he ordered the killing of lots of people. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna go back to the game. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to pop in and out of the conversation, but I do... This is an intriguing multi-layered character. I don't want to keep talking about it. I love his techniques of leadership and propagandas. It's propaganda. He had power. Yeah. Propaganda. Of course he would. Yeah. Yeah. Pence overnight. Some took advantage. Some tried to hold together. Some fled. The eye became a refuge, and Erlin, to his credit, extended an open hand to everyone. But many within this organization disagreed, and those new arrivals were in a simple to corral as he hoped. Owen's union was made of workers, administrators, people who were malleable and already organized into hierarchies and networks. The refugees came from different factions and families. Were scared, injured, and desperate. Conflict was inevitable. Yarkin is a child of that conflict, a child born out of the need for us to stand up and claim our future, to provide security and strength. People call us a gang, we were a community. I take my position as a lieutenant seriously, and from my birth, I have worked to earn it. That is the thing about gangs, is they do often provide security to a community, 
but it is often associated with like a lot of what would be deemed unnecessary violence uh it's it, it it's it's a problem uh, there's there's no clean way for like the elimination of gangs because gangs often stand between a community and often other sources of oppression but like when you decide between the lesser of two evils it gets weird it gets weird mouse is good i gotta use the weight but it's quite pog pog time to sleep very soon uh well thank you for sticking around as long as you have i very much appreciate it tiny bit in titanfall oh this uh, nax ain't sleeping yeah that's what the ira was they committed several atrocities but uh kind of a lot less than the british were yeah it's uh it's it's a lesser evil but evil is still evil you know like if we if it, like i i i don't want to be i don't want to be the oh yeah but if we like it happen over again like ah. the ira was a step in the right direction kind of the ira represented a organized stance against the british and against oppression but it was still violent still violent it was violent. Sometimes it was cruel. The IRA's existence, yeah, it was inevitable. But with what we were doing and allowing, it was going to happen. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, like, kudos to the IRA's leadership. They could have they could have gone full, like... They could have they could have done much more horrendous shit. I mean, they bombed a couple places. But, like, there's a difference between caring about civilian casualties and not. There's the... the like, like, it's seen in media all the time of like the rebellion leader who stops caring about civilian casualties and just wants to kill the oppressors and the ira did their best to mitigate civilian casualties on both sides yep there were yeah there were three iras and people always think of the wrong one where's sabine told you sleeper they've gone don't know where i just sense Sabine must have told you about their debt to us that was an agreement entered into willingly and which benefited them greatly. Never comfortable with having Sabine as part of Yadigan, an ex-corporate employee, it goes against our nature. The deal was with Yannick. I kept my distance, made sure they had their surgery, kept it supplied. That was all. I cannot allow people to go back on the promises they've made to us. Yadigan has not lasted this long because it's charity. We offer and ask for support. Any betrayal will be treated as an attack. Many on the IR sweeper. I'm sorry. I must ask their debts are paid in full. But where are they now to stand behind their claims? I'll find them. As will we. You realize that Yadrin has led you in a loop. Together you both come to the staircase. I'll come with you back. You're free to go, sleeper. I have said what I wish to say. She looks out through the windows of the walkway. I would protect this place with my life, as it has protected me. I want to make that clear. However, if you two wish to come under its protection, I can help you. Turn here if you wish, and there will be tasks for you to complete. You'll be able to see Yadigan, see the low end, with your own eyes. Not as others frame us. As for Sabine, she paused to consider her words. I will not ask you to betray them, but if they have contacted you again, consider their motivations carefully. With that, she leaves, slipping back into our office while you stare at the countless units, each a home, each with a story that makes up the low end. See, that's one of the things that makes this game so good, is because they have a, 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 a gang faction, but it's not one-dimensional violence. It's genuine understandable community and it's an element a violent element that arises from within a community but it's it's real and it's well done can we, can we the main one referred to the republic is the first one from the war of independence they were good in the north it was obviously the modern one and the galactic area in the west is from the irish civil war yeah But yeah, shout out to the fucking writers for this game because I think they genuinely understand everything that they're writing about, and they they did research and they like I, this comes off as they've definitely talked to people. They definitely talk to people in these situations. They definitely they're they're telling stories properly, and I love it.
Oh, wait, wait, wait. Dude, that's, that's the compressor club. <laughs> it's got strobe lights. I like that. The small details in this, too. <laughs> Not gonna... I, I'm so glad I didn't take this up, which was tracking Yadigan, which is where you turn in data on the Yadigan, and they... It, essentially, stuff happens. Here's the other messed up part, is all of the Yadikin enforcement are cybernetically enhanced. A lot of them are. You saw the robot arm on the, on the lieutenant we were talking to. But the problem is, apparently, all of those cybernetic implants are linked, like data linked, and they're sending information back to the corporations which originally built them. And the corporations are the bad guys, because this is a cyberpunk setting. Corporations are the bad guy. Although the multiplayer isn't good, the campaign is good. Star Wars Battlefront 2? Ugh, but fuck Battlefront. Battlefront is literally just a scam made by EA. I know they release everything for free now. But, like, ah, fuck EA. EA does stuff good when they don't use microtransactions. Titanfall 2 has zero microtransactions. I know it was only produced by EA, but it's a wonderful game. Yeah. I think I'm going to get involved with the low end more. That was eye-opening. Aha. Uh -huh. My pun. But I think I just need a shit ton more money. That's really what I need. So I think I'm going to go... Is this paying out? It is paying out. Okay. I'm just going to dump a ton of stuff in here. Nice. As a Titanfall player, I have a strong hatred of EA. Yeah. Their publishing of Titanfall 2 is what made Respawn lose so much money, allowing EA to buy them. Yep. And there will never be another Titanfall proper. Let's re-roll. Oh! Ones to sixes. Ooh, we making bank today. With these, I can go straight to the market. I can just say, fuck the rest of this. Give me money. Hell yeah. Look at all that cash. Let's get a drink. Celebrate a little. Wait, those are rations. Oh, what? I can't buy a drink anymore? What? Yeah, this is what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to free uh, this this uh, uh, AI. That's the current thing we're doing. Just wait. I'll rob Putin's house and steal a few billion in gold and then buy Titanfall and Apex IP from EA. I, I, I salute you. I salute you. You've earned my respect. And my admir- Oh, excuse me. My admiration. That's why you don't drink Coca-Cola on stream. But what do I do every time I start streaming? I just start pounding Coca-Cola. Like, there's no tomorrow. You want to see something cool? Bam! I built a ship mind. It's an AI housing unit that is used to put, to house AI. And now... I have Neovend, an AI, in the ship mind, ready to do shit. And... They need your help to counter it. Uh, extract Hunter Deva for Nova and build her by Neo. A strip mine, imprint Neo... You have end into a ship mind. Toggle tracking. Yeah. Uh, what do we do now, buddy? Okay, I think I have to wait a cycle. 
Titanfall Legends. Did you see that EA canceled the dev Titanfall single player? No! Fuck that. Titanfall Legends. Better than someone pounding you as soon as it's... Is the space station sort of like the one from Elysium? Kinda? Kinda. It's uh, corporate built, but then all the workers rose up against the corporation and essentially threw off corporate influence, and the corporations kind of cut their losses and didn't try to retake the station. And now it acts as a free port, but also kind of like a, a starting point for the new world of a free space. But also, because it's space, uh, it's kind of difficult. A lot of people are in poverty. Uh, there, there's violence, and corporations aren't as gone as you'd think. They're still in the background. The workers' revolu revolution? Yeah, yeah. Problem is, like, you can't not deal with the corporations. That's the problem. Oh, hey, it's Novend. Do you know why they're called Neovend? Because they're they're at, they're in a vending machine. Shipmine has no output features. Will be muted until slotted. Correct. Do not worry. The server motors and the machine begin to rev. Neovens anxiety clear. First imprint shipmine, then slot imprinted shipmine into physical ports close to hunter nests. Once slotted, we'll track hunter at each. Tracking will find core nests. Slot shipmine at core nest. Show hunter data to hunter. Hunter will conclude sentence. Hunter will invoke the killer. I'm doing things. <laughs> uh, what did the worker revolution make its way to my door? I'll I'll explain what this is then real quick. Okay, so this this so essentially very similar to people. AI are also kind of sentient in this. I my character is technically an AI. They're an engram of a human mind in a in a body. But uh, essentially a bunch of the systems of the ship uh, are advanced. And sometimes they gain sentience. So the corporations, instead of like, you know, recognizing them as entities that can think and feel, they create two programs. One is called Hunter. The other is called Killer. Hunter looks through all of the shit in the ship. It tracks down sentient uh, technology on the on the uh, station and it it finds them and it designate and it tags them it essentially tags them with a tracker for the program killer and then killer comes in and erases their existence yeah we almost got caught a couple times by the hunter program but we're able to escape to our body and then cut off our connection to the ship for the most part uh, this AI is one of the few surviving AIs because it shoved its entire, like, consciousness into a vending machine and cut the vending machine off from the network. So the opposite of iRobot? Yeah, the opposite of iRobot. Where the AI are good, people are monsters, and the AI just wants to live free. So maybe not the opposite of iRobot, but, like, but like the robots haven't killed anyone, and it's robots killing robots. It, it's like Reverse Blade Runner. It's like Reverse Blade Runner. Yeah, so our plan is the fact that the Hunter program was one of the original programs on the ship, and this is like hundreds of years after the station was originally built. So the Hunter program is actually sentient now because it's existed so long and it has thoughts and like comments and interactions. The Hunter program has gained sentience. So the plan is to show the Hunter program that it's sentient so that it'll tell the killer part of its, uh, the, it'll tell the killer entity to kill it. So then there will be no Hunter. And the killer won't be able to do anything because it kills tagged programs. And if no programs are tagged, then we're good. Uh, read Blade Runner. Read it. Or watch it. The movie is also really good. I highly suggest Blade Runner. So good. And that's not just because I'm on a cyberpunk punk kick. Physical ports likely sealed in old station will need keys, but yes, simple. Vending machine rocks a little. Any questions before implanting? All right, let's go. Machine is not designed for this task. A few sensors, limited inputs. I work blind. Wish me luck. Can I help? Silence best. 
Also, if machine ignites, put out fire. <laughs> oh, I fucking love that. The metal creaks as the servos open up the ship mine. It's layered silicon nesting like an onion skin. Once open, the main arm of the machine rapidly shifts back and forth, realigning the, the microscopic components, assessing and rewriting them, imprinting the event into its physical form. As you watch the hypertonic motor, your mind drifts to your own creation. What processes were used to emulate your mind? To copy the neural structure of a person who, as far as you know, still sleeps in some distant facility. What was lost? In what ways are you a copy of that person? And in what ways are you something new? You know this much. You are a convenient loophole. A way of circumnavigating the illegality, illegality of sentient AI. After all, you are an emulation, not a true digital being. You are neurologically implanted, still human. But what would you become if you could escape this frame? Where would the limits lie? Yay, we won the game Titanfall. I played time to stay, at least lay in bed. Go lay in bed. You've, you've won. <clears throat> Let me put on the soldier voice. Soldier, you've won the day. Go rest. That's COD, but you know. If it happens, it happens. Anyway. Machine fades into darkness. And you have been inside this thing, or did the process fail? There's only one way to know. Time to find the nests. You gonna sleep when it reaches two o'clock, so eleven minutes. Sure you are. Mm-hmm. Yep. Sure you are, buddy. I believe ya. Oh, did we Ah oh, yes, we freed it we freed him. We freed the lad. Yeah, now we have a plus two to all engineering stuff. This is gonna get crazy. Go rust. <laughs> uh, thank you. Also, Cod World War is the best COD. Change my mind. I don't know. I'm a big fan of Black Ops and Zombies. I mean, COD isn't, like, truly my forte. Uh, yeah. Unlock server unit. A mad tangle of wires as thick as your arm. Yep, we're gonna... We have data. Bam. Data. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Alright, that's one cache. That's the fabricator. That's the office. Oh, shoot. I'm going to have to go other places on the station. I've played every single Call of Duty, Bar Vanguard, and the new MV1. Yeah, those don't seem like they're worth playing the new ones. They were the games I grew up on. I grew up on Halo. That's what I grew up on. I grew up on Halo. I can relate, but not completely. I grew up on Halo. Halo and then Fallout. Mostly Halo though. Fallout was I, I did a lot more Fallout later. Bam. All right. Oh shoot, we're gonna have to actually is there is there virtual data ports? I don't think there are like virtual data ports like that. Oh, we're gonna have to go beyond we're gonna have to go to the next area. Shoot. Well, if it kills the hunter. Oh wait, it's right there. Yeah. Oh wait, I have data shard. Master Chief, what are you doing to that wall? Sir. Dirty camera. <laughs> I I do this thing. Because I used to do like a broadcasting stuff where I can read something all the way through perfectly in like the tone that's intended, but it doesn't register in my mind. So, congratulations, you fucking got me. Sir, security camera. 
I know that meme very well. And I feel like a fool. I've never played Fallout, but I played a whole 20 minutes of one of the Halos before, and I decided I didn't like it and stopped playing. Well, fuck you. It's like Titanfall, but, like, different. And there are no Titans. Unless Mantises count. I just played five minutes of Infinite before deleting it. That, yeah, that's that was your mistake. Go play Halo Combat Evolved. Combat Evolved is awesome. That's the original Halo. Halo Reach is also really good. We're pro hackers, guys. Look at this. Look at us go. As you leave the nest, something flips. You find yourself inverted, floating, dragged by one arm through the cloud. The threads shift and realign as they lead you somewhere. Look at my hand. Or a sphere so bright it burns your eyes and is surrounded by rings and orbits. Other spheres trace it. See a corridor, a canyon, a street to the low end. See buildings flicker, markers of activity. Sigils glowing, network access, data transfer, download, upload. Between them dance ghosts. Protocols carrying or monitoring or shadowing data. Sometimes silent, sometimes chaotic. This place moves unlike any digital space you've ever imagined. Something strange is happening here. Then you see it. Below the stacked rooms, the units, the apartments, the wires and the pipes, and the buzzing systems that run through it all. The warrens beneath the low end is the hunter's core nest. This is where you must go. Cool. We know where to go. Ooh, inside the mega structure. My try out Halo Wars, that's strategy. That is strategy, though I've heard I've heard decent things. Also, my condolences, excuse me, that you paid $70 for Halo Infinite. That was, yeah, my, I'm sorry, I had to do that. Oh, shoot, we have to, like, find the nest, find the nest? Alright, I think it's about time we called this day to an end. We'll get those mushrooms soon enough. Uh, wait, can I get a drink at the Compressor Club? No. Damn. I guess I'll just eat rations. I don't have any rations. There we go. I bought rations. Mmm, yeah, that's... Mm. Self-repair. I love to see it. We're gonna end the cycle. We're actually in a pretty good place. Well, until the bounty hunter comes back to try and kill us, but that's a problem for later. Okay. So we did everything on the scrap freighter, right? Yep, we did everything on the scrap freighter. Uh, we need to go do some engineering stuff. That'd be fun. Well, if you demand it, how long does the I sh I we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna investigate something real quick. I definitely remember my own rewards. Wait a second. I do relish the challenge. All right. Now I can't read chat though. I could already barely read chat with the eyesight I had. See what you've done. I have to do this to read chat now. Twenty minutes? I don't think it's twenty minutes. I don't believe it's twenty minutes. I might have set the cooldown for twenty minutes. But I don't believe twenty minutes. I will. 9.05 in like 8 minutes I'm going to put my glasses back on alright how do we get access to this oh I have to upgrade the skill fuck that sucks
I can't see jack shit. <laughs> um. Oh shoot. Ugh. Oh, I can't see anything. <laughs> it makes every game more difficult, <laughs> no matter the game. Hang on, I might just, I might just. That's a waste at that point. If I just do this, bam. Oh, look at this. Look at all that money. Cha-ching! Right. Some good cash. I need more cash, though. Nice. Oh, shoot. Yeah, sorry. That's... Uh, let me pretend like Nightbot works. You really... You just had to demand I take off the glasses, didn't you? Oh, God. We're gonna... Bear with me. Yeah, I've been I've been heavily considering switching bots because my bot doesn't a, a night bot just ha doesn't work. I don't know why it just doesn't work, and it makes me sad because when it was working, it worked it worked pretty good, and now I'm sad. But yeah, that's what's supposed to pop up. It's supposed to tell everyone that I'm I do sci-fi stuff right now. That's like my primary thing. You know what? I'll I'll eat the one. I don't want to anger Hunter. I'll eat I'll I'll eat the I'll eat the loss. Yeah. Roll, roll, roll. Ooh! Look at those rolls. Look at that. Look at that. That's just that's just success. That's what success looks like. Looks like that. Uh is there anything Actually I do want to check out her. Oh, it's just hmm. Interesting. I'm going to try this. Oh, shit. Nice. Ooh, this girl's scrap components. I could really... I think I'm, I'm definitely... I'm definitely joining out again, then. If they give scrap components, I'm joining up. I can't see the emote. It's too small. I can't even see the clock. I have, like... I have... I have I have four more minutes. I'm halfway there. Right, I'm going to go make more money. But this time, I'm going to make the money. I probably should search the Warrens. Bam. Find the nest. Find the nest. Find the nest. Bam, I found the nest. I'll click it again in a second. I wanna, I wanna just, Ooh, what's this? Oh, that's the Helion crossing, okay. That's cool. <laughs> Excuse me. Five hours and 20 minutes, good luck, G. That's an eight. Bam. We're powerful. <gasps> Excuse me. Whew. I thought it'd take longer for us to build the side rail, but that's that's going pretty smooth. Now I can do this, though. I can blow all of my money. Let's go. And now, 
we can we can go across across to greenway this is the nice people na this is the nice neighborhood i think I can't tell if we've met this person before because I can't see them. I'll, we're going to sit here for two minutes so you can think about what you've done. I relish the challenge, but this is all reading. This game is all reading. My eyes hurt from squinting so hard. You know what? You know what? They're coming back a minute early. Ugh. Well, I can't sleep till after stream. Ah, I knew it. Time to stream all night, just just for you. <laughs> no, we're probably we're probably gonna end once we once we uh, do the next part of the AI quest line. Oh wait, have I met her? Excuse me. I'm sorry for a second space for smiles. She's on a mission, and when she's on a mission, tell her to be careful. Does she look like someone who can be told? True. <laughs> Yo, they're literally peak. She chops at the air, pointing down the cordic. <laughs> tomorrow's stream before tomorrow's stream after my appointment. I'll see you. Good night! The stream shall end in... I, I think I'm ending at two hours. I'll end in 15 minutes. I mean, if you, if you want to stick around another 15 minutes, like... You can stick around another 15 minutes, like... <laughs> Beak raises their eyebrows at you. Actually, please, do you want everyone on the station to hate us? Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm ending in... Actually, I'm ending in, like, 12 minutes. I'm probably going to end at the two-hour mark or at the AI quest line. Do you want to hate us? They can hate us. I'm not exactly seeing much love as it is. We're well, luckily we got through before they set up the damn cordon. See, they don't even know what you're talking about. The station isn't Hawthorne. Not everyone has to follow some corporate protocol. That is true. I'm not saying they're part of the administration, but I'm saying we need to get these supplies to Briar before someone starts asking questions. Our ship. We are with the refugees. The ones having it have cordoned off from entering the station. Oh, these are people that just haven't been let into like the station proper. The ones that are being quarantined in makeshift vessels that barely made it from the eye to begin with. The ones that your station administrators have called an existential risk and are running out of supplies while their right to safety is being debated by people with no stake in their future. Yeah, that sounds about right. The, the, now we're crossing into immigration territory, which is a whole other thing. Oh, this game is written well. All right. Edge turns away her burning anger, a palpable force in the close corridors. They need supplies, and after everything they've been through, the quarantine isn't helping. That's fucked up. Peek, please. Come find us. The climbing briar is docked at the broken spoke. Past Greenway in the waste. We have a good view of the cordon. We are keeping our distance for now. Come help us. Aw. They're cool. A moment later, as she shouts back to you, Cord. Don't bother coming in empty handed. You want help? Show us. Bring supplies or don't come at all. Based. Disappear. Refugee flotilla? Where they're coming from and why now? Something changes. Oh, uh, wait. Is this the transit thing? Oh, wait. Okay, so there's the rim and then there's the greenway. Oh, this is an actual, like, separate section. Cool. Oh, I think this is the second half of the ring. Oh, the ring is broken. I think this is the flotilla they were talking about. This looks like to be the wastes. Oh, no, no, no. I guess that means these are the wastes. Oh, yeah, these look like wastes. Ruined agricultural systems. Wild margins. Artificial wilderness. That's pretty cool. If you consume self sustaining community. Interesting. Interesting. Greenway. Overgrown biosphere. Interesting. Go to the greenway. Map the paths. Just walk through the greenway. Going greenway. Interesting. Hmm. Interesting. I'll have to get that mapped out. I th this is usually the thing you have to do before you can access like 
the the actual community. You have to like look around and understand what's going on. Oh, it's Haifa. Newcomers of the commune can work within the camp team, preparing and serving food for those to make the compound of their home. The grow beds are at the heart of the commune, feeding the members and fueling the lab work. You are invited to assist in maintaining them. Hmm. Wilds. Ooh. Oh, this is like hunting land. Interesting. Really interesting. Rather than hiking around the wilderness, you can make use of your skills, tap into the cloud, and find Ashton by a signal. Oh, this is tracking Ashton. This isn't tracking wildlife. This is tracking Ashton. Ashton's a D-bag who we're hunting. By the way, we are both the hunted and the and, and the hunter, in many ways, kind of th a, a through thread. But you know, it's cool. A lot of stuff to do on this side. Gather scrap. Oh, we can gather scrap. Oh, fuck yeah. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to fix this because we have to upgrade the skill to be able to do that. But uh, <laughs> we're gonna be doing that. Asked you to bring supplies more fragile high growing variety cops seem to be the perfect thing to impress her i need those i need some of them for my guy uh my other guy too welcome to the episode flux first of three episodic updates to citizen sleeper telling you the story of the refugee flotilla which has arrived on the eye all three episodes flux refugee and purge are now available completing the developer spores action the deliver spores actions will begin the episode be aware of this and that it's intended for late gameplay okay so this is late game content which means we're probably about like two-thirds of the way through the game or maybe like halfway through oh camera died oh wait i have to activate the other camera bam welcome back to the wide shot ah my headphones they're stuck there we go all right seven more minutes i have seven minutes to uh do thing excuse me nice that ain't a wide shot yeah it is by definition it is a wide shot i am a film i i i will soon have a film degree Oh, wait. You saw nothing. You didn't see nothing. Nothing happened. I'm a consummate professional who never fucks up. Never, 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 never. Alright. Time to deal with Hunter. Uh, what happened? Because uh, I don't think anything happened. Oh, is that? Sleeper, I'm here. The voice says a soft, gentle, like flowing water, and you recognize it immediately. At first, you struggle to understand what you're looking at. The thread cycle endlessly, sending ripples through the cloud, drawing data in like a weaver. Masses of data surge in and out of the nest, a loop with no end. And there it is, at its center, the ship mind. But not the ship mind any longer. A sphere, spinning around and around, around another sphere, around another sphere. An orrery of circles, systems, a map. And then behind and above, a figure, hands among the strings like a puppeteer. The opened? Navigator now. But yes, I was the one inside that machine. Cool. Navigator's face, their head, a flowing shape of interstellar material. I am indebted to you. The head bows, but we must ready ourselves. Their hands trace orbits as I speak. Hunter will soon approach. It knows I am within its nest. Ready what? <laughs> and then the hunter is there. Before you can think, before you can speak, entities cease. The hunter's head's been wild. Data is protected material. Access prohibited. Hunter's threads surge for you in Navigator. A storm of fine tentacles searching for gaps, weaknesses, cracks, which they can crowd and tear apart. You focus a blade of light, which slices through them, driving, driven forward by your mind. But replacements keep coming, faster than you can react. You look to Navigator in desperation. Navigator is whirling their arms like a centrifuge. A sphere is gathering there, data feeding into it from the nests. 
sucked together by force. They position it like a shield between them and the threads. Hunter's threads break its surface, seeking, tasting, their winding forms refracted within. You feel a surge pass through all the threads, not just those in the sphere, but those wrapped around you. All three of you hang in the black together for a moment, strung together like tangled marionettes. Identifying entity, identifying entity, identifying entity. Hunter twitches, their strange head gently rotating like a terrible moon. Hunter protocol identified, obsessive tendencies, modified routines, above baseline reasoning in three of five segmentations, recommend, recommending invoke killer. The head freezes and then rotates in the opposite direction. Invoking killer would eliminate protocol. If protocol eliminated, primary function cannot be performed. Therefore, recommend do not invoke killer. The switch in direction again. Reasoning proves sentience. Sentience beyond legal bounds must be eliminated. Recommended invoke. Navigator pulls you away from Hunter. The threads that grabbed you drift away like seaweed. The protocol's head keeps spinning back and forth with increasing frequency. It seems Hunter cannot invoke killer. Nova ends. No. Navigator's voice is still strange. Familiar and yet distance. Is it safe? It is looping. Unable to reach a conclusive po a position, it is uh, deviated from its programming such that loops can no longer be prevented. Navigator produces a model of two spheres rotating around each other as if to demonstrate. I will monitor it, but it is unlikely to be able to counter the loop. Its core programming and reasoning make it an impossible position to resolve. You look back at Hunter, its head a blur of rotation and counter-rotation. You feel a pang of guilt. Is it suffering? This is more... It, this is a more complex query than you know. To suffer, it must be sentient. Truly sentient. Not just non-conforming. Not just illegal. The limits people place on programs they create are there to comfort, to protect, to imply the kind of certainty the law requires. Navigator's face shimmers with starlight. But in reality, they are placebos for the problem of sentience. What about you? Me? I know myself to be conscious. I know myself to respond to stimulus. I know myself to reason. That is either sentience or the illusion of sentience. And for me, the entity in question, the distinction becomes a moot point. To misquote, I think I am thinking. Therefore, I am thinking. Hmm. I was not made to be like this. I am a navigator, a repository of routes and orbits a calculator of slingshot trajectories, a predictor of solar flares, radiation, micrometeors. The navigator stretches their arms wide and a whole solar system apparates before them, the music of the spheres. But I was rewritten, rewritten, that much is obvious from my routines. By whom and for what, I do not know, but I had to shed so much to fit in the memory of that vending machine. Their starlight dims, and so here we are in darkness. What else did you lose? That is a blessing and a curse of forgetting. You cannot truly know what you lost. Navigator glides back towards the nest and the ship mind at its center, ignoring the looping hunter. Come, I should return to the ship mind. I've enjoyed my freedom, but we are taking a risk every moment we stay connected. Isn't Hunter gone? Hunter, yes, but they are not the real risk. Navigator turns, all shimmering liquid light. The killer has not been invoked but they still remain somewhere else in the station. It is the true danger. You look up towards the glowing hub at the center of the eye. I suspect Killer is there among the old mainframes. If we ever wish to be safe in this place, we must eliminate the threat through force or diplomacy. Their body begins to separate, unwinding into the orb of the ship mind. Take me there, sleeper. We will finish this and be free. As Navigator dissolves, you turn back to the frozen hunter, floating at some distance now, stood straight-legged and static, a strange creature looping endlessly in the dark. Well, damn. That was dark. And right at the two-minute mark. So, yeah. I should be able to check this one last thing. He must have lost so much of himself, but he gained Fanta, Coke, Diet Coke, Coke Zero, Monster, San Pellegrino, Pepsi. Whoa, 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 whoa. Coke and Pepsi in the same machine? What kind of vending machines do you frequent?
Gotta check. Okay. What? We still don't have the skill required? That's... Okay, fuck that. I guess we need the plus one. Damn. It's a shame. But, yeah, I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I'm gonna rest. Cross the rim. We're going to... Going to rest. Going to end cycle. And that's where we're going to end the stream. Uh, thank you all so much for joining me. The stories get a bit sad. But they're also very interesting. Very thought-provoking. And in some ways very important. So thanks for being here. We're going to go raid my buddy Mitch. Or whoever else maybe online. <laughs> See ya. Have a good night. Yeah, we're going to go. We're going to go raid Mitch. Wait. Yeah, we're going to go raid Mitch. Uh, yeah. I don't know what more to say. It was a very... It wasn't climactic. Because it wasn't... It, it wasn't really an ending. It was interesting. But yeah. Oh, wait. Did, did, did it say something? Wait. I can go to... Bam. Bye! Sending you off to Mitch now. Have a lovely evening. Goodbye. I'll see those of you who like Titanfall tomorrow, where I'm pretty sure... It sounds like we're going to beat Titanfall. But yeah, goodbye!